Hello and welcome you to my new and awesome video about the Taylor expansion of new functions that we are looking at, the cosine and the sine. Okay, before we start off, like I told you, first of all we have to find out what the these values are differentiated, uh, not differentiated by the, okay, they are differentiated and then evaluated. First of all, we have to differentiate this. This is f of x. I will just do a table. So this is the first derivative, second derivative, third derivative, and fourth derivative. And we will look what values we get. If you differentiate cosinus, what you will get is the cosine differentiated will give you a minus sine of x, then you will get minus cos of x, then you will get sine of x, and then you will get cos of x. Why do I stop here? Because what we did here is we ended up here. If you go on, then you will get again the cosinus. Okay? Now here, the first differentiation of this gives you the sinus, this gives you the minus sinus of x, this gives you minus cos of x, and this gives you sine of x, which is again the first thing, and you, you just go here again. Uh, so what we get here, and I actually will now evaluate them in zero, if you go here, evaluate in zero, you will get zero, here we get minus one, here we get Okay, we evaluate them also, you get 1, the sine is evaluated if at uh, 0 will give you 0, the cosine is will give you 1, then here we get, what do we get? What do we get? Sine uh, of 0 will give 0 again, okay, I'm just jumping, here we get a 0, here we get a 1, here we get minus 1, here we get 0. Actually what you see is that if you multiply them out you will always get 0. This is uh, called orthogonality, so these functions are orthogonal to each other. Now, what do we do by this? If you look back to our expressions, we said that cosine can be rewritten as the differentiations Okay, the nth derivative in the zeroth point, and if we start off with the zeroth derivative, which is just the function itself, then we start off with 1, then uh, x to the 1 disappears because this will be 0, then we get minus 1, and this is 2, x squared, 2 faculty, plus x to the 3 disappears, okay? 3 disappears, so we won't have an x cubed, and then we come to this, which is just x to the 4, 4 faculty. And if you go on, it's just looking like this, it's only the even numbers, and for the sinus of x, we get a similar expression, which just looks like this. Now we get all the odd numbers, and again, alternating signs. Okay, and this actually concludes our lesson. Now you know how to differentiate the exponential, how to differentiate cosine and sine, and now you can actually write them as parsons. And that's it. In the next videos, we will maybe talk about um, binomial uh, approximations. We will also look at the logarithm and uh, what other functions did I want to find? The arc is tangent. Okay. So this concludes this lecture. I wish you a nice day. See you next.